Hi, what are you going to do in the next two weeks in Easter? Very important. The most important thing you should do to think about what is your target. Obviously, if you are watching this video, you're looking for a grade, grade eight or grade nine, probably, possibly. I'm going to suggest with all my experience, what should you do in the forthcoming Easter holiday to improve your grades, to improve your results. I'm going to give you three important informations. And if you listen to me, and if you follow these instructions, you will end up with good grade. First of all, I want you to take a rest. That's the first thing important. I don't want you to just start 10 hours and 10 hours a day, okay? Just relax, rest, all right? That's very, very important. Second thing you should do is to start past papers. Now, a lot of past papers are online, all right? You go to Mass Genie, you go to directly at Excel, or AQ, past, uh, uh, online, and then you can find some past papers. And obviously, if this, at this stage, a lot of students have, have their all, all, all the past papers. So you can start past papers. But important thing in the past paper is you don't have to do all the questions. Why? Because recently, all the boards have given you advanced informations. So look at the advanced informations and just ignore those questions from there. That's important. But yes, if you are A-levels, I recommend you do all the questions, all right? The next thing is to, is to do, when you do the inf all these past papers starting, you're actually doing an active recall, all right? So you have done a lot of the work. For example, if you have done kinetic energy, you know kinetic energy, you know work done, you know, uh, for example, E equals MC theta, all right, in the physics, all right, I'm talking about in the chemistry, you know about the bromine water test, uh, hydrocarbons, uh, chemical bondings, all right, for example, in mathematics, you know about algebraic fractions or circle theorems or Sakatoa. So you do active recall. Okay, what you have done, I'm revising it, I'm refreshing my memory, etc., etc. That also gives you a spaced repetition. A spaced repetition is that you already know this, that is in your memory, but when you do repeat it, it will recall. All right, that's the spaced repetitions. It will help you. Now, three most important thing you should do is uh, do not start with a one hour or two hours or three hour sessions, but start with a very small, I always say in the classroom, five minutes only. Start with the five minutes is very important. So five minutes means when I'm talking about five minutes, then it's simply you start and have a look and then just begin with five minutes thing. The five minutes will help you to start your work. For example, you say today I'm going to start with x to the power 0 is 1 or 4 to the power half is 2 or um, uh, thirds or uh, sets or um, re recurring questions or adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing fractions. The first 10 questions of the math paper I'm talking about, especially paper 1. So you can start from there. All right, that is a five minutes revision. But what is that most important thing? You can extend that to 10 minutes and 15 minutes later on. Now you have only two weeks, all right? But obviously the second thing I want you, okay, when you are learning, I don't want any mobile phone around you at that time. Five minutes or 10 minutes, mobile phone should be given to your mom or given to another, put some in another room. That is a distraction, whether you believe it or not. I want you want, I know that you want to hear music, but at that five minutes time, no distraction. And a minimum things with you. The pencil, the pen, the calculator, the book, and that's all. That is the five minutes in this five minutes. And then you can extend to 10 minutes and 15 minutes as you wish. Because that's not, not mess you have. You have chemistry, you have physics, you have biology, you have a geography, you have a history, you have languages, other subjects. But because as a math teacher, my expectation is you focus on math. So you can start with five minutes and extend to 10 minutes and possibly 15 minutes a day. It's important. The second thing, no distraction, I told you. And the third thing is important. When you're trying to do the past paper, talk to someone, your mom, sister, brother. Yeah, right, I'm doing 10 to 10.30, I'm doing a past papers. I'm doing 11 to 12, I'm doing a past papers. So it's important that you take a, the agreement, uh, you're taking a responsibility. Okay, look, I'm doing a past paper. That is important psychologically. Okay, you are telling someone I'm doing it, then obviously you are bound to do that. So this is... 
All my students in the past who got grade 8 and 9, they are committed. So I want you to commit with yourself. And remember, these are the results which will stick with your life lifetime. So hopefully, good luck. All right. And wish you good luck. Bye-bye.